Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and let's cover the bucket list, a new mission that will award you with a new camera. Well, 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 as you probably know, there is a new mission that came out two days ago. It's called the Bucket List. And to start it, you need to find the tourists across the Appalachia world. Well, that's not so easy, especially because everyone is trying to find the tourists right now. But don't despair because I have uh, created uh, two maps with almost 15 locations where the tourists can spawn. So all you have to do is check them out and server jump many, many times until you finally find it. So here they are. Now, most of these places, to do not say all of them, are tourist locations or attractions. And I have checked several Reddit posts as well as other YouTube videos. And I came up with 14 locations that have been confirmed uh, that the tourist spawns there. Now, as far as I know, each server has only one tourist spawn at a time, which makes things a bit difficult. I had to server jump endlessly. I took almost two hours to find the tourists for the first time. And I think that's because everyone is trying to do this. I found people in these locations uh, in both maps, which indicates that I am quite right everyone or many many people are trying to do this which makes uh, it even more difficult to find the tourist anyway i found it at the very first location in the first map here at the city at the moatman monument and i found n a female corpse i heard that you can also find a male corpse and once you access the inventory you will notice that there is a holotape. That's what will start the mission. Mine is called Anne's holotape. You should also take the broken camera because you will need it to craft a new brand functional camera. You can also take the bucket list inside, but it's not really necessary because the mission itself will request you to go to all the places that you need to actually complete the bucket list mission. Now, if you decide to listen to the holotape until the end, you will understand what you have to do. But if you don't want to, you can just go to your base or to the nearest uh, Tinker Bench to start working on your new camera. In my case, I just went back to my camp and I accessed my Tinker workbench. And then I thought that maybe it would be in quest items, but no, there is a new section called camera right here. And that's where you can crop your Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Don't forget to pick the broken one from the corpse before, otherwise it will be a bit difficult to craft it. And then you will need several things to finish the camera, like adhesive, aluminium, uh, glass, silver, spring, pretty much the usual stuff that you need to repair your armor and your weapons. It shouldn't be a much of an issue to get it or find it in the world. If you do, then you might want to check my next video, which I will uh, post in a little bit. And yes, when you finish the camera, you get 20 atomic points for the achievement, which is always nice. Now the camera comes with some film already. And it's more than enough to complete the mission, so that means you don't need to create or craft more film to complete the mission. And here's the view of the new camera. It kinda looks like the old cameras in real life. And as you can see, the mission updates tell you where to go next. It's all around the mire in the very north of the map, and then it goes a little bit to the south ending here at the Valeria Gallery. So let's start at the Pumpkin House because I think it's the closest to my base, luckily for me. And once you get close to the landmarks, normally you get a mission update telling you what you need to photograph exactly. So in the Pumpkin House is the very entrance or the main house. 
and you only need to do a quick shot and it will be pretty much done. It takes a little bit to update once you take the photograph, but don't worry, it's normal. The next one is at this workshop, it's very close. There is no fast travel option unless you have uh, gathered or owned the workshop already. But don't worry, again, you can just walk here very fast from the pumpkin house. And this time you need to photograph the logo up there. So for this, I jumped with my marsupial, but you don't have to. You can just take a photography from the floor. That shouldn't be much of an issue. And they want the logo up there, so make sure to aim up. If you have issues with the entire thing, then just focus on the up one. And that should be fine. Now we must go to the east, to the Freddy's Fear House of Scares. And again, they ask you to photograph at the very front of the store. I try to go a little bit close to get the grass out of the way. And be careful with the ghouls because they will most likely attack you since you need to get a bit close to the store. But that shouldn't be an issue. At least it wasn't for me. Dolly Sod's Wilderness is also in Anne's bucket list and one more time you need to uh, photograph the very entrance of the main house which is this one and I went through the roof because I thought it was the other house at first but then I understood it was this one and it's very simple just a front door and that's it another landmark done and let's move to the next Moving to the south, you need to go to the Barclay Springs and in this time you need to go to the castle. I didn't even know it existed and it's one of the landmarks and you have to go up like as if you were going to the workshop but even more up. Be careful with the Scorched. This town is filled with them and they're very annoying. You can take the stairs here. It's much easier to access the castle and then go towards this way and as you can see the castle is above me I first didn't see it but then I looked up and there it is it's not that big but it's a decent size for the game and as usual all you have to do is photograph the entrance the front part of the castle and that should do it for your mission and then out of curiosity, I decided to go up there with marsupial. It's quite easy to go all the way up to this tower. And damn, the view is quite amazing. But enough talking about the castle. And now we have to go to the Harper's Ferry and we need to photograph the armory. It's right here. It's kind of close, but you can access this part nonetheless you only need to get the country art which is right here i decided to do a little a pro photograph from the side but you don't have to you can just get the country art which is what they ask and that's it and we are almost done with this mission now we have to go inside the valley galeria it's like a commercial hall with some art mixture of both. But for this one, you actually need to go inside and then they ask you to photograph the skylight, which is this big lamp there. I'm not sure why they ask to photograph this. I don't think it's anything special. But once you do, the bucket list is complete and you get your rewards which are quite handy in my opinion. So you get a lens for your camera and then of course you get the postcard with all the photographs 
uh, you took. Well, they're not literally what you have taken, but they are the places and the specific part of the buildings that they have requested. So they kind of remind you of the photographs you did take in the past, even though they aren't. But it's a great touch. Uh, you can get it and add it to your camp, which is nice. And that's pretty much it. It's another short mission. And now you have two ways to capture your memories and game experiences. One with the usual uh, capture mode. And now with your new camera, which you can attach and new lenses as well. It's pretty cool. And you can actually use the camera as a zoom or a scope if you don't have one in your weapons which is a pretty amazing and useful too. Anyway, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't spare if you cannot find a tourist in your first rise. Just keep trying and follow the maps I have provided you. They are locations that have been confirmed and they will surely help you navigate and server jump across the different locations. I wish you luck. I hope you get to do the mission and of course get your camera as well. I am Marta Branco and thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed yet, then make sure to click the button down there, but only if you like the content, of course. Thank you for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Wow.